So today I want to talk to you about Pinterest viral pins and two things that you really need to know about it. And by doing so, I want to show you an actual case study of a fashion brand that I worked with this past year. So let's look at what a viral pin really looks like when you go behind the scenes and take a look at these pin stats or pin statistics. So it received 3.4 thousand clicks. That's how many visits went to their website. And their website is an online store because they are an online fashion retailer. They have 7.4 thousand saves. So people were saving the pin like crazy. 63.8 thousand close-ups. That means they were on their mobile phone and they tapped the pin in order to look closer at it. So it's important to understand this because most people who do use Pinterest actually use the Pinterest app on the mobile phone. So you wanna make sure that your pins look um, nice and they, they look easy to read and easy to see on mobile, not just on desktop, because that's how people are using their Pinterest account. The impressions are important because it tells you how many times this pin was seen on Pinterest. Did, did Pinterest actually show the pin to people? And they received 1.8 million impressions on this pin. This is just telling you the total popularity of this pin across Pinterest as it snowballed with saves and clicks. And when that happened, then of course, Pinterest kept showing the pin to more and more people. That's the impressions that happened. So let's find out what happened next with the traffic, which is one of the most important pieces that can happen when you do get a viral pin. It increased the traffic organically by 958%. And this all happened in just one month and the month was January, which is a very high point in Pinterest. So most people think that fourth quarter is the biggest season of the year for all social media, for sales, for everything online. And honestly, Pinterest is a little different. Yes, you will get a lot of traffic and start seeing a lot of movement in fourth quarter, but it will actually snowball and become even bigger and better in January and February. Those two months are very strong on Pinterest. So you definitely wanna make sure that you are very active in your pinning all the way through January and February. And of course, if you're serious about getting that traffic, you would wanna do this all year long. So that's pretty serious traffic coming in just from one of these viral pins. And there were 12 that were showing up in Google Analytics, making it a huge, huge, amazing response to that viral pin. So this is what happened inside of their Pinterest account. Their monthly unique viewers went up and the monthly engaged. And the more that those start to increase over time, the more that Pinterest values what you are doing and they start showing your pins to more people overall. So that is what you want to have happen. Their monthly viewers on Pinterest went up 1,921% and the Pinterest monthly engage went up by 1,592%. That's pretty amazing. So from that point, as you keep getting the pins going, Pinterest is going to automatically show them to more and more people because they know of your history of engagement, of how your audience is really responding to your pins, to what you're about, to your brand. Now, there are two things that you really need to know about viral pins, because I think there are a lot of myths out there and a lot of misnomers. So here they is what they are. Viral pins usually do not come from your own Pinterest account. So yes, you need to make time to create some amazing pins. But what typically happens is it's an average, everyday, normal Pinterest user who actually pins an image from your website, from your blog post, from your online store. 
and the other average everyday Pinterest users see that and it begins to go viral. So these are just normal everyday people. These are not people who are using Pinterest for business purposes or for marketing purposes. They are actually there as a real Pinterest user because they want to discover things new. So the people who will actually make your pins go viral is going to be an average Pinterest user who is there to discover a new brand, a new product, something new that they can do, read a new blog post. They're there with an open mind and they are not necessarily trying to search for any particular brand name. They're open to discover any brand name, anything at all that is amazing and interesting and it's very easy for stuff to start going viral. So in this situation, it was just an average everyday Pinterest user that had discovered this brand, this fashion brand inside of Pinterest and clicked and went through to their online store. When they arrived at the online store, they found this amazing outfit that they were interested in and they saved the image of that outfit in one of their boards for later so that they can make a purchase later. What happened was many others saw that appear and it began to go viral. And the key wording that was used from that average everyday Pinterest user in the pin description and in their board all made a difference because that went along right with the pin. Also, because this was a Shopify store, it automatically has rich pins. And in this case, it's the product pins. So that gives more of that metadata to go along with a pin that makes a difference and will help pins be shown to more people on Pinterest. So it's interesting to note that usually the viral pins are probably not gonna happen because of you pinning you pinning your own pins, it's going to happen because someone else discovered you and your brand, your business, your blog in Pinterest. They go over to your site or where your store or wherever it is that you have things that you are offering. And if they love what they see, they will start saving the images that are there. They're not gonna probably take the time to go back and find the original pin that led them there. They're just gonna pin what is right in front of them. So it's very important for you to create pins and have them in your blog posts, in your website. If you have a store, I would highly encourage you to change all of your photos to be at least 600 by 900 pixels. That's a minimum standard currently for Pinterest. And it would be smart for you to at least include your logo or your domain name on that pin as well to watermark it. Now with this fashion brand in their online store, all of their images in the store are 600 by 900 minimum dimensions some of them are even bigger and it looks fantastic inside of their store. So when the average shopper pinned an image right out of that store and it went viral, it was easy for it to go viral because number one, rich pins with the product pins was enabled. And you can do that by making sure that your, your account is uh, claimed. And then also, it was the right size dimensions. So it gave Pinterest more um, room to show it to more people and easy for people to see within the feed that they are looking at. So those are a couple of things that were um, happening right inside of their store immediately that I think is important to take note of is they were automatically doing images with at least a minimum of 600 by 900 pixels with their store and also they had the rich pins enabled. So those are two things that were in their favor that allowed a viral pin to actually happen because now we know that most of the time the viral pins occur because an average person was the one who actually 
pinned right out of your store, right out of your blog post, right out of your website, all of those places. And what I would encourage you to do is to go in and make sure that you have some kind of an image, a pin image located in your website, um, correct images, good images for your store, and definitely for your blog posts or wherever it is that you want people to go to discover your brand and your products. So take note of that, of who really is in charge of creating viral pins so that your brand and your products can be discovered by even more people yet. I hope this helps you. Definitely hit the like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe, and then don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notifications each time that new videos come out. And I will see you again next time.